he rappelled to the end of the rope mm-hmm. and he didn't reach the anchor so he came back up he's like right what have we got Adam was there too. Oh, sweet. That it was, was funny. It was so good. nice. Though. It was like. It was hey, friend. How's it going? Uh, we are up here on the Lions. Hiking in yesterday was pretty gnarly. My body was so sore by the time I was done that. That's like one of the harder hikes I've done with that much gear. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely feeling that in my body. But I went to bed last night and as we were going to bed, the sky finally was starting to clear because it had been foggy and rainy for the previous like three days. The Slack Life guys have been up here for a while, like in the rain. And, uh, but we came up and in the evening it started to clear. And so as we were going to bed, we were just like, so excited that it was going to be clear tomorrow and when we woke up it was just like open skies sun was out i was i was incredibly incredibly excited to see the sun like it's hard to describe how thankful i was for those warm rays coming into the tent it's like immediately all of our wet gear we were setting out and trying to get it dry uh so today's big project uh was getting this this line rigged Uh, and it's foggy right now but it's actually been going off and on uh, but thankfully it hasn't been wet and so these guys there's you can't see it behind me but that's one of the lines there and the other line is up behind that thing there and the guys have been working really hard to rig it all day it's actually there's been several stages of the struggle uh, that's gone along with this rigging process so spencer is actually up there right now and uh, for the past four or five hours or so They've been working on getting the line uh, connected over there. So the line's been connected over there. That wasn't an issue. Uh, but then they needed to use what's called the tag line. So they essentially attached a weaker string, uh, something that's light across to the two uh, by throwing one down there, throwing one down there, and then connecting them in the middle. And then over there, they had the high quality webbing. And so they attached that to the weaker line and they start to just like pull it across and get the nice webbing attached up there. But this section right here, has been the struggle section uh, because once they got all the webbing, so if you think about how much like a double backed up piece of webbing that's like almost 400 meters long, if you think about how heavy that would be, they're trying to get that up there with like thinner rope. And so they were pulling it in and then it just like, they were literally within 10 meters and it, uh, it just like snapped and fell. So the whole line then dropped to the ground. And so they had to drop another line down there, attached it again and started pulling it up. And this is, this is where the struggle just like got really frustrating. I had the drone up there and I could see everything that was going on as they were pulling in the rope. And literally the connection point that they needed to get was within about three meters at the end. And they were so close to getting the webbing uh, to the anchor. But the line at that point was almost tensioned enough to walk on and they didn't get it up into the anchor. So it was just like too much tension and they couldn't get the line there because it wasn't long enough and it was just like yeah it was actually (laughs) just a really tough moment because I mean there's a dozen people up here right now working really hard to make this work and and to have it come down to that where everyone's been like working so hard today and to have it come down to the line just isn't long enough it was just like a struggle uh and you know like Spencer so badly wanted to be able to to make this happen. And I, you just know he's he's pretty crushed right now that it's not working out. Um, so for now, the, the plan is uh, to, to collect the webbing, um, gather it up to one of the anchors, and, and then maybe we're going to rig a bit of a smaller line. But that's been the progression of events for today. If you look, you can actually see that's where the guys are up there. They're uh, right now spooling in their tag line and then they got to climb down. Yeah, I maybe would have filmed a little bit more with my iPhone, but uh, today's been just pretty interesting and I've needed to use my phone for the monitor for the Phantom. So, yeah, this is how it goes. It's uh, it's really tough. It's not, it's not fun. And those guys, they've been up here for days now. 
I just can't imagine how badly they just want to be able to make this work. So that's, that's just really tough. But thankfully, uh, everyone's still in good shape. No one's hurt besides Spencer's hand. It's just how it goes. The fog all day has been moving so fast. It's crazy. Up here we kind of have our our base camp set up. This is where the guys were essentially camping out for the past five days or so. And uh, some of the other tents are already taken down, but we managed to cram quite a few tents in this small area. The snow is actually really helpful for getting a flat level surface for the tent because there isn't tons of tenting area up here. Uh, well, the line's kind of over here. How's it going? The struggle's real. The struggle is real, yeah. We're like right in the thick of it right now, so mm -hmm. hopefully we're on the back side of it. And we'll all laugh about this when we get to the bottom. <laughs> this is tough when you get like that close so many times. Yeah, yeah. And eventually the things that are going wrong just start to add up and it feels like it's just like not supposed to happen. Yeah, I mean, we went through so much to get where we are now, especially these guys that have been up here for days waiting it out. So yeah, to get like five meters away. Yeah, you know, it's, it's painful. Yeah, but that's how you learn, isn't it, right? So next time you come here, you're a bit more prepared, you know what you can get away with and make it a success, like character building. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need to try and get... Hey Brent! Did Adam come down here? I came after him. Yeah, that's right. Okay, but he's yeah. coming down. I don't know where it's here. Yeah, it's a gnarly bit. Which is like... All like... All I really care about is that we get the people all out. Hey! Matt and Spencer, please give us a sign. Is this Brent? Brent! Brent! What did he do? He was... He was going the entire webbing? Yeah. It's... In the matter of like 15 minutes, things just escalated real, real quickly out here. We we heard a yell, um, a pretty, pretty freaky yell from over on this line over here, which Spencer was climbing down. And right now, Spencer and Brent are two separate parties. Brent was cleaning up the line, and Spencer and Adam, Spencer and Matt were climbing down one of the lines. Both parties had radios, and uh, we're not getting we're not getting any radio contact from them. Um, it's like pretty messed up. It's, it just like, doesn't feel good right now. Um, so we're, I'm here at the, the base camp and there's, I mean, there's a team of people now looking for Brent. Um, I have no idea what's going on. It's like really freaky. And I'm just like hoping, I'm hoping everyone will just like meet up back here and it'll just be like some rock fell and it was scary and there was a yell, but then there was nothing that went wrong. But like, I just have a, a really terrible feeling right now and it's like not fun. I'm ready for this to be over. They have not? No. But they found Brent? Yes. Our guys are hopefully coming down the backside there on the route and we'll come out here. So now it's kind of just like waiting, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel good. Haven't heard anything on the radios. So like for the last 15 minutes, we've just been yelling Spencer's name and, and Matt's name to the guys that were up on this thing. And we came down to the, essentially just where it starts so we could get around the corner there and yell up. Um, and we were like yelling there for a while. Uh, and then and then I realized I had cell service and they weren't responding to, to radio calls, but uh, I, I just called Spencer's phone and uh, 
Yeah, and he answered. I, it's crazy. It just feels so good that he answered. It's crazy how fast the feelings of just like, of like, oh, like, just like gut wrenching. Oh no, like what happened? How those can settle in when you lose contact with someone and they're in a potentially compromising situation. But like in this situation, I'm just so thankful that everything's fine and we know where all parties are right now, which is great. I definitely think we're going to pack it in for today and just like really think about what's worth our next steps because we're in unpredictable territory. Rocks are moving. We've had like a couple close calls with rocks. And then the last thing we need is someone slipping and, and just like, yeah, not just this situation. I'm just really excited to see Spencer in person again. <laughs> oh my goodness. First snap, that was, like, it was, the, it was, that, there, was that was heartbreaking, it was there. to say the least. I was happy when we were uh, pulling on it, we were like, then just fly right off the Yeah, edge for it, sure, so. yeah. <laughs> but then once that, like I was just about ready to call it, but then it's like, you know what, after crying a little bit, I realized I just had to just try again, you know, mm -hmm. if, if we got a hold of the webbing. Yeah. So then I set up a web lock on an anchor behind, and then we're just using the line grip and a hangover to basically haul the yeah. system in. The side that we're on, it's yeah. even a little bit lower. Yeah. Like I'm looking at the peak of the east, you know, like some things yeah, will have to yeah. be revised. There's gonna be some people up there that are gonna be happy to see you. Oh yeah. Well, today was definitely, definitely more interesting than I thought it was going to be when we set out to rig this morning and the sun rays were, were all over the place and man, it just really felt like it was supposed to work out. And it's like challenging that even if it did work out, our webbing wasn't long enough to begin with for where we set our anchor on the east line, but that was really the only secure place that we could anchor. Um, so it's, 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 it sucks, but at the same time, there's a lot of lessons learned. Uh, and rigging a, rigging a high line in the Alpine is, is just a different beast entirely. And so it's cool seeing the slack line guys learn stuff um, and everyone just being more aware of safety uh, just in the Alpine, just because, I mean, there's a lot more factors when you're having to do like climb things to rig your anchor. That's just like different than just being able to walk up and, and rig and then and then high line. So all in all, good experience. Tomorrow we might rig a smaller line up kind of uh, behind there a little bit, but this is gonna be it for today. And uh, yeah, really cool to be up here with the guys. And just, I'm very thankful that everyone uh, everyone's okay today. I mean, yeah, that was probably my least favorite half hour when, when there's question marks on how people were doing. I, I really don't like those circumstances. And in, in most cases, it, it works out, but it's like, it's not a fun place to be. So yeah, that's it for today. Signing off, really tired. And uh, yeah, life's better when you make stuff.